first off, I want to talk about if, you know, first of all, I'm not diagnosed with ADHD. I've never been diagnosed. I've never talked to a doctor about diagnosis, so I would never know. I wouldn't know. But, you know, um, I talked to my friend who was diagnosed at a very young age with ADHD and have dealt with it their entire lives. And, you know, we were just talking about my experiences, you know, on life. Um, I lose interest in things that I shouldn't be losing interest in very, very abruptly. I would just be, you know, doing something I really like and then suddenly just like that it's gone you know I don't care anymore I don't want to do it I don't want anything to do with it um same goes with my relationships with people I don't think I've ever you know attachment to me is very hard I can't get attached to people um one one second I'm enjoying your company and the next second I just want to stay in my room and do nothing for my entire life I thought that was a normal thing you know maybe I was just that's just how I'm wired you know that's just how I am as a person and that's what I thought my entire life but I was telling this to my friend who has experienced ADHD and you know dealing with ADHD their entire lives and I Oh, I don't know. That sounds extremely similar to ADHD. And, you know, I kind of brushed that off. I was like, oh, you know, maybe just a coincidence, nothing, nothing too serious. And then, you know, I was talking to another friend who, <laughs> surprisingly enough, also had or well, has ADHD. They're a bit older, you know, they, they have a family. They have kids you now, and they talked about how, when in college, they had to go on Adderall, and how different it was. They couldn't explain it. It was just clear. They just knew what they had to do. I'm oh, sorry. Adderall is a medication for ADHD. It's uh, I, I'm I'm not really an expert in it, so I I can't really say. But he described an experience as like he just knew what to do. He focused, he did what he had to do, he, he started working out, you know. He actually did work. He actually attended his classes and it was it, it, his mind was just so clear. And after college he got off Adderall and everything just felt so slow to him. You know? so slow and that got me thinking I'm like <laughs> you know what if I'm what, what if I actually do have you know ADHD um I don't know it got me thinking it's been on my mind a few days how, how different would my life have been if, you know, hypothetical that I, w I did have ADHD, I, you know, if <laughs> another big hypothetical that the Philippines wasn't such a third world country and it actually, you know, that got kids with ADHD, ADHD, sorry, diagnosed early and maybe even got medication for it. How different would my life have been? Let's see. Um, in high school, a uh, little backstory, you know, of my exciting, exciting life. In high school, I didn't really have too many friends. I had friends, you know, here and there. But again, that that situation with relationships and losing interest has been plaguing me since I was a child you know the only really 
interest that I had that honestly stuck with me and I'm thankful for thankful for it was well art as you can see on my YouTube channel and everything I do is revolving around art <laughs> well specifically digital art I can I'll get to that um and I enjoyed it I loved it but as a child even up to like up to now home other interests never really stuck with me, you know. Um, sports, and like I got really into soccer for like two weeks when I was a young when I was young and dropped it. Um, working out, <sighs> like before, you know, the uh, the big C, the big Co. <laughs> I started working out. And for like a month, it was going great. And then it just stopped. Because, you know, it happened. Co thing happened. And, well, I stopped. Now that I have the chance to do it again, my mind is saying, you have to do it. You have to go back. You have to go back working out. You know, for it's, better, it's good for you. But something in my head just goes, nah, I'll, I'll put it aside later, and I say that on the first day, and then I say it again on the second day, and the third day, and just again and again and again and again and again, and I get nothing done. That's been the cycle of my life since forever. Aside from losing interest in things, I focus has never been a thing to me. I've never, in my opinion, I've never been in a, in a state where I was focused. You know, you, uh, some people would say, "Oh, well, you're super focused when you're drawing." I'm like, "No, no, don't get me wrong." When I'm drawing, I'm not focused. I have on the second screen. I'm watching something, or I'm reading something, or I'm looking at something. If I'm if I'm streaming, I'm looking at chat. I'm talking to people. If I'm alone, if I'm just drawing, there's always a YouTube video that I'm like looking at. Sixty percent of the time that I'm drawing is spent on watching a video on YouTube. I'm not actually drawing. I've I've never had like an extended period of focus that's been. I could say like worthwhile like like you could say wow you were really focused there no um I can't recall anything like that you know so yeah I, I've never been able to focus and with that you know focus I lose interest in things I just I'm very impulsive with things um, I'd like to think that I've I've uh, I've improved in that aspect over the years but it took a lot of work but still I'm still super impulsive especially with my finances like I like to say like when I want to buy something I sleep over it but that doesn't really happen most of the time when I have the money and I want to buy something, I immediately buy it. And 30 minutes later, after paying, I go to regret it. I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, I already spent it. Oh, well. And again, that's plagued me for most of my life. Um, so yeah, for the past few weeks, not few weeks, sorry, for the past few days, I've been thinking... How different my life would have been if I actually got the medication, you know, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, whatever medication ADHD actually needs, and I was able to focus, I was able to stay on track, I was able to be motivated, I didn't lose interest in the things that I like, and I could hold relationships with people that are considered meaningful and not shallow 
you know? And I just thought about it the entire time. I just, I just thought about it. And... I honestly believe that my life would be marginally, marginally better than it is now. And by better, I don't mean I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not suffering right now, financially or physically, more so mentally. I don't value my own thoughts more so now than ever. Um, in my old college, uh, sorry, rewind. <laughs> Um, I was uh, back to me talking about how different my life would be in high school. Maybe I wouldn't have flunked high school, you know? Maybe I would have actually graduated. Maybe I would have uh, actually been able to join the graduation. Maybe my parents could actually have pictures of me in my graduation. Imagine that. One of the only things that I could fucking give back to my parents, I couldn't do it. I had to flunk like two subjects on my uh, final year of high school. So I wasn't able to join graduation. Obviously, I, uh, I blamed everyone else but me. <laughs> Which is a common theme I'm seeing. So that happened. You know, I still technically graduated, but you know, I'm still that guy. I'm still that kid that never really did anything. So college, you know, I get accepted to a school that has a course that I, you know, actually like. It's about art. It's about animation. It's about something that I'm thought that I thought that was super passionate about. Um, that's what I thought. And then I actually get in. And the uh, I think I've talked about this too many times already in my uh, in my previous videos regarding the uh, quote-unquote bad teacher but long story short you know I wasted like four or five years in a course that I thought that I wanted and eventually I was well quote-unquote suggested to uh, leave that course um so that happened <laughs> So I switched to IT. I thought, I mean, I'm already doing computer stuff. I could do this instead, right? Maybe I could recover. And I spent another year doing nothing and wasting more money. So then, you know, I moved to a different school in a different city. My parents said um, my environment was toxic and I needed like new place. I, I needed a new area to be in so I could f start fresh. I believe them, you know. My, uh, they obviously have the best interest for me and they thought that would help. Um, see, the thing is, the problem wasn't my environment. The problem was me, you know? So... I don't know. But yeah, maybe... Maybe... I lost track. Oh, the, this, this video is gonna be long as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, um... I was thinking how different what, that would have gone if I wasn't riddled with these 
things, this this ADHD thing. You know? Maybe I would have actually gone to my classes. Maybe I would have actually had the motivation and willpower to actually do work. Maybe I you know, maybe I actually started interacting with people around me and not just lock myself in a room for four years doing nothing with my life. Then maybe I would have graduated. Maybe now I would have a job. Maybe now I'd be actually having a fulfilling life. But here I am, talking to an empty mic in an empty room in a screen. To a screen with just a picture of a Snorlax in Discord. So, yeah, I don't know. And I don't know if I should get diagnosed, even if I did want to. I don't know how or what the process is. And even if I did get diagnosed, what am I going to do? Get medication for it? First of all, the diagnosis, the, the meetings with the doctor would cost money. Then the medication would cost more money. Assuming that I actually have ADHD and I'm not just being a lazy fucking asshole being like Whatever Anyways back to the topic Money there's a lot of money that I don't have That you know and obviously if my parents knew they would want to Pay for my medication, pay for my diagnosis, whatever. And that's... I don't want that. Obviously. I don't want that. I don't want them spending more money. So I'm in a bit of a bind here. Because I also don't want to sit here wondering if I actually have an issue with me that can be resolved with medication or if it's all just in my head so now i'm confused so now i just want to do something about it i don't know what what do i do how do i move forward but hey i'll keep you updated though you know Maybe something good happens and I'll come back in the next video and be like, Hey guys, I can actually think now. I can actually focus now. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, for now, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for entertaining me. Or entertaining my ramblings here. Hopefully uh, the speed paint going on in the background isn't too is uh sorry is to your liking i don't know what i'm gonna put it put there they get um i'll probably use the clips for my vods we'll see we'll see we'll see anyways thanks and uh tell someone you love them today you know or if it's uh, already nighttime where you're at tell someone you love them tomorrow bye